Hello everyone. Today we are practicing completing the square in this completing the square scramble. So to get to the activity, what you're going to do is you're going to click on my document. And then you're going to click on edit. And this is going to take you to a bigger screen of the activity. If you get this error message, you'll just refresh. And then you should find that it loads for you. So when I get here, I immediately like to go ahead and make this a little bigger for myself by clicking on this up arrow. And now I am into the activity. So to complete this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to solve all these quadratic equations by completing the square. And then you're going to type your answer into the box to the right. And when you're entering your answer, you do have to type it in a specific way. You have to type it as x equals first number, second number, with no spaces and smaller number first. So for example, if your answer was negative 4 and 2, you would type x equals negative 4 2. If your answer is correct, the box will turn green, and you'll see your picture start to unscramble. And if it's incorrect, the box will turn red. So for instance, let's put an incorrect answer. Let's say I have x equals 1 comma 4. Notice I don't put any spaces there. I have my smaller number first. However, when I press enter, I see my box turns red. So that means I got this answer wrong. But if I put the correct answer, which is x equals negative 4 comma negative 2, when I press enter, the box turns green. And we notice that some of our picture unscrambled on the right. And so you're going to do that for each of these six questions. And once you have your picture completely unscrambled, you will come back to the original tab. And then you'll click on Submit Assignment and then click on Yes, Submit. If you have any questions on this activity, please let me know. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great day.